Hey, what up guys? It's your boy Bet on me with some more Destiny 2 content. This is a video regarding a how to get the Whisper Slab Legendary Combat Bow and also a potential God Roll Guide for the Whispering Slab. But right before we get into it, if you guys do like great Destiny 2 content regarding PvP and PvE, weapon reviews, how to videos, subclass builds, Destiny 2 news, great gameplay, and Destiny 1, this is definitely the channel for you. So go ahead and click that sub and notification bell. But if not, you guys watching this is enough of me and i appreciate the support to get the whispering bow you will need to start the quest from the drifter now you will come to a part that's called in the face of darkness next you will need to come over here to the prismatic recaster and you need to choose this vendor sub screen called umbral focusing now you'll have the chance to choose different umbral engrams now i chose the one uh there was an umbral engram weapon now I took it over here to the Umbro decoder and when I turned it in it gave me the whispering slab and then it also gave me another quest step which make you go right back over there to the drifter and he gave me another whispering slab as well. Now here's the stats on the whispering slab. It has an impact of 68, accuracy of 45, stability of 58, handling of 68 which is really good, reload speed of 64, it has a draw time of 612. This is the same archetype as a tyranny, a heaven bow uh, that you can get from the last wish rate. It also have an aim assist of 75 which is really good a recoil of 55 bounce intensity of 45 and this weapon does tend to shoot vertical now seeing that this weapon is brand new i'm still going to try to give you guys a potential god roll and i will tell you this there are some new traits on here that we have not previously had in destiny but i will give you the best traits that are normally good for both so in line number one, we want to go with flexible strings, a negative five to accuracy, but it adds a plus 10 to charge time, plus 10 to handling, also plus 10 to draw time. And then lastly, polymer string. It adds plus five to accuracy, plus 10 to draw time, also plus 10 to charge time. Line number two, straight fletching. It adds plus 10 to accuracy. Line number three, we have archer's tempo. Draw time decreases after every precision hit. And we have this new trait, killing wind. Final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short time. And then in line number four, Vorpal Weapon, increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with active supers. We have the new trait Unrelenting, rapidly defeating targets trigger health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one. And then we have Swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon and you can stack up for more damage. Here's your god roll for PvP. I will go with flexible strings again in line number one. Next, high tension strings. It add plus 15 to accuracy. Now it does add a negative 10 to charge time, negative five to stability, and negative 10 to draw time, but that accuracy is very well worth it. And then I would go with polymer strings again. In line number two, I would go with straight fletching again. But in line number three, I would add quick draw. This weapon can be drawn um unbelievably fast i will also go with arches tempo i would also go with killing wind again and then in line number four i would go with opening shot improve accuracy and range on the opening shot attack and swashbuckler this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon that's how you're looking for your pvp god roll all right guys so those are a few possible god rolls and until next time this your boy bet on me saying peace hope to see you guardians in the destiny universe let's team up and have some fun enjoy your day